most respected prime minister shri narendra bhai honorable chief minister bupendra bhai patel ji distinguished guests and dignitaries from all over the world ladies and gentlemen welcome to gujarat and the 10th vibrant gujarat summit the most prestigious investor summit in the world today no other summit of this kind has continued for 20 long years and going from strength to strength this is a tribute to our prime minister shri narendra bhai modi's vision and consistency i have been one of the fortunate few to have participated in every single edition of vibrant gujarat i have come from the city of the gateway of india to the gateway of modern india's growth gujarat i am a proud gujarati mane gujarati hovanu abhiman che when foreigners think of new india they think of a new gujarat navu gujarat how did this transformation happen because of one leader our beloved leader who has emerged as the greatest global leader of our times and he is shri narendra bhai modi the most successful prime minister in india's history about narendra bhai when you speak the whole world not only listens but applauds you my friends abroad ask me what is the meaning of slogan that millions of indians are chanting that modi hai to mumkin hai i tell them most respected shri narendra bhai modi ji when you speak the whole world not only listens but applauds you my friends abroad ask me what is the meaning of the slogan millions of indians are chanting modi hai to mumkin hai i tell them it means india's prime minister makes the impossible possible with his vision determination and execution they agree and they also say modi hai to mumkin hai my esteemed friends i will never forget what my father dhirubhai ambani used to tell me in my childhood gujarat is your matrubhumi and gujarat should always remain your karm bhumi today let me declare yet again reliance was is and will always remain a gujarati company each of reliance's business is striving to fulfill the dreams of my 7 crore fellow gujaratis reliance has invested over 150 billion dollars that is 12 lakh crores in creating world class assets and capacities across india in the last 10 years of this more than one third has been invested in gujarat alone 